In a comprehensive study conducted by the University of Washington, it has been revealed through a press release that there exists a colossal aperture positioned off the coastline of Oregon. This immense opening, situated directly above the Cascadia subduction zone fault, is responsible for an intriguing phenomenon. Instead of drawing water downwards into the depths of the earth as one might expect, it is actively releasing vast amounts of water into the ocean. Scientists are experiencing a worrisome level of concern regarding the leak, as it could potentially foreshadow a catastrophic event in the vicinity, such as an imminent earthquake. This colossal cavity is situated approximately 80 kilometers away from the Oregon coastline, stretching vigorously across a vast expanse of 965 kilometers, encompassing the region between Vancouver Island and the northern reaches of California. This substantial geographical challenge is arousing apprehension in the scientific community as it signifies an extraordinary phenomenon that demands thorough investigation and analysis. Pythias's oasis, a vast cavity situated beneath the seafloor of the Pacific Northwest, has garnered attention due to its abundance of valuable minerals. In a recent study titled Fluid Sources and Overpressures Within the Central Cascadia Subduction Zone, revealed by a warm high-flux seafloor seep, which was published in the prestigious journal Science Advances, scientists propose that this enormous hole may serve as a lubricant in the intricate workings of tectonic activity. The spring's water, which is nearly fresh, plays a crucial role in preventing any potentially hazardous movement of the plate on which it is positioned. This remarkable spring, known for its association with an oracle who encountered hallucinations while sitting on it, was first uncovered by researchers in the year 2015. During an independent scientific expedition conducted in the vicinity of the spring, a group of diligent researchers encountered the fascinating phenomenon of plumes of bubbles emerging from the seafloor sediment. Subsequent investigations revealed that these bubbles constituted a warm and chemically distinct fluid which was graciously surging forth from the depths below. According to credible sources, these esteemed researchers were astounded to observe this spectacle likening it to the forceful ejection of water from a fire hose. The research team meticulously computed that the fluid emerging from the Cascadia megathrust is originating directly from this seismic fault line, and moreover, it is found to possess a higher temperature compared to the surrounding water, with a remarkable difference of 16 degrees Fahrenheit. In subsequent exploration missions to the spring, which was initially uncovered by Brendan Phillip, a policy advisor at the White House, Valuable insights have been gained regarding the crucial role of Pythias's oasis in averting catastrophic seismic events. Marta Torres, the lead researcher of the study and a doctoral student at the University of Washington, aptly described the system as analogous to an automobile engine that relies on oil for optimal functioning. This comparison highlights the significance of Pythias's oasis in maintaining stability and preventing detrimental seismic activity. In the event that the plate tectonic beneath the spring becomes immobile or stuck, the accumulation of stress has the potential to trigger a significantly greater seismic event. By identifying a naturally occurring lubricant in close proximity to geological fault lines, valuable insights can be gained in terms of effectively mitigating earthquake hazards in various regions across the globe. Extensive research has been undertaken following the discovery of Pythias's oasis, as scientists are eager to delve deeper into its geological processes. This remarkable find has led to a groundbreaking revelation regarding the significant role played by the spring in mitigating seismic activity within the region. The scientific community proposes that this seafloor spring is situated in an exceptionally distinctive and demanding environment, which holds immense potential for unraveling the origins and evolution of life on our planet. The captivating nature of this phenomenon has sparked considerable interest and garnered attention from experts seeking to enrich our understanding of Earth's geological and biological history. According to the press release, the release of fluid from the interface of the offshore megathrust has significant implications for the interaction between the oceanic and continental plates. This is because the reduction in fluid pressure between sediment particles can drastically alter the level of friction. As a consequence, there is an observable increase in friction, which in turn creates a buildup of stress and amplifies the likelihood of potential natural disasters occurring. This serves as a critical reminder of the intricate dynamics at play within our Earth's tectonic plates and the substantial impact that even small changes can have on seismic activity. 
In their study, the researchers draw an interesting comparison between the megathrust fault zone and an air hockey table. They explain that when the fluid pressure within this fault zone is high, the two tectonic plates have a tendency to slip with reduced friction. It's like when the air pressure under the hockey puck is high, allowing it to move smoothly across the table surface. Researchers have observed that the seafloor leak under examination represents a unique occurrence, possibly indicating the presence of undiscovered leaks in close proximity that remain undetected. This significant discovery offers valuable insights into the field of plate tectonics, which is still relatively nascent. Specifically, it emphasizes the critical role of fluid pressure within the megathrust fault zone, shedding light on the complex dynamics of this geological phenomenon. This expanded revelation delves into the intricacies of seafloor leaks, highlighting their potential significance and expanding our understanding of plate tectonics. Mysterious holes found at the bottom of the ocean remain a mystery. Delving into the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, along a volcanic ridge, intrepid sea explorers utilized a sophisticated remotely operated vehicle to meticulously investigate the largely uncharted regions below. To their astonishment, they stumbled upon a fascinating phenomenon, a distinctive pattern of perforations scattered amidst the sandy seabed. During their dive on July 23rd, north of the Azores and near Portugal's mainland, the explorers were astounded to observe approximately 12 distinct sets of holes on the ocean floor. These clusters bore a striking resemblance to a trail of interconnected lines, captivating the divers' attention. The mesmerizing discovery occurred at an impressive depth of 1.6 miles, and approximately seven days later, another significant development occurred when four additional observations were reported on the Azores Plateau. This submerged topography serves as a meeting point for three distinct tectonic plates. Intriguingly, these newly identified cavities descended to a depth of approximately one mile, approximately 300 miles distant from the original location where the initial discovery by the expedition took place. The scientists are currently unable to determine the nature of these holes. These traces are impressions found in sedimentary layers, potentially indicating the presence of organisms. Although the exact origin and significance of these holes remain unknown, the scientific community considers them as potential evidence of past or present life forms. The scientists are actively engaging both themselves and the public through social media platforms, raising an intriguing question regarding the peculiar phenomena observed on the ocean floor. These enigmatic marks, characterized by distinct patterns of holes, spaced at intervals of four or more inches, as well as lines extending from five to well over six feet in length, have piqued the curiosity of researchers. The main focus of their inquiry revolves around uncovering the underlying causes responsible for the formation of these remarkable features. According to a tweet from the Ocean Exploration Project of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, scientists are perplexed by the source of these holes. They appear to be man-made, but the presence of sediment piles surrounding them implies that they were dug out by an unidentified entity or force. The mysterious nature of these holes has left researchers scratching their heads, struggling to uncover the true origin and purpose behind them. Nearly 20 years ago, in close proximity to the exact area where the current exploration took place, researchers observed comparable openings during a scientific mission, as mentioned by Emily Crum, a spokesperson from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. According to Michael Vecchioni, a deep-sea biologist from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was part of the previous expedition and is also involved in the current venture, the passage of time has failed to offer any definitive answers. Despite the ongoing research, the mysteries surrounding this topic remain unresolved. According to Dr. Vecchioni, there is a significant event unfolding in that particular location, yet its true nature remains elusive. This observation underscores the existence of unresolved enigmas in the world. The statement implies that there are still unexplored phenomena and unanswered questions that continue to fascinate and perplex us. In their determined quest to unravel the mysteries of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a vast expanse of underwater mountains stretching over 10,000 miles beneath the Atlantic Ocean, the scientific team embarking on an ambitious ocean expedition is diligently investigating the enigmatic holes that dot this intriguing geological formation. This comprehensive exploration 
aims to shed light on the multitude of questions surrounding these holes, as they remain a focal point of scientific curiosity. Experts from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are currently engaged in a series of three expeditions, collectively known as Voyage to the Ridge 2022, to seek answers and gather valuable data. These expeditions, which commenced in May and will extend until September, cover an extensive range of locations spanning from the waters adjacent to Newport, Rhode Island, to the picturesque Azores archipelago, and ultimately back to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean. Explorers have a keen interest in unraveling the mysteries of the marine realm by delving into the depths of underwater volcanoes. Their quest encompasses not only discovering the diverse array of organisms inhabiting these submerged volcanic structures, but also understanding the intricate dynamics that transpire during geological processes. According to Derek Sowers, an expedition coordinator on the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration ship, the Okeanos Explorer, scientists are dedicating significant attention to the exploration and study of deep-sea coral and sponge communities. These ecosystems are widely regarded as being among the most precious and invaluable marine habitats on our planet. According to Dr. Sowers, expeditions like the Ridge Voyages play a vital role in developing a comprehensive understanding of the planet's biodiversity. These exploratory missions are considered fundamental as they shed light on not only the various life forms inhabiting our planet, but also on the unique compounds that they produce. Researchers are expressing a keen interest in uncovering further insights into regions of the ocean where seawater is heated by magma, creating an environment where deep-sea organisms derive their energy from this unique heat source and chemical compounds, rather than relying on solar energy, which is the primary source for most life forms on our planet. Dr. Sowers expressed that through this discovery, our comprehension of the circumstances in which life can exist on other planets has been greatly broadened. After the agency decided to utilize social media as a means to actively involve the public, an influx of numerous comments flooded in, exhibiting a wide range of speculation. Some individuals ventured into exploring the origins of these holes, questioning whether they were fashioned by human hands or perhaps even indicative of extraterrestrial activity. Others raised the intriguing possibility that these enigmatic depressions could potentially be attributed to the tracks left by a concealed submarine. Alternatively, there were those who contemplated the notion that these mysterious formations might serve as the breathing passages for an elusive deep-sea creature that expertly conceals itself beneath the sandy depths. According to Dr. Vecchioni, the possibility of the last guess not being far-fetched cannot be ruled out. In a research paper that focuses on the holes discovered in 2004, Mr. Vecchione and his co-author, Odd Axel Bergstad, formerly associated with the Institute of Marine Research in Norway, proposed two primary hypotheses to explain the existence of these holes. Both hypotheses revolve around the involvement of marine life. The first hypothesis suggests that marine creatures could be walking or swimming above the sediment and creating holes by poking them downward. Alternatively, the second hypothesis proposes that marine organisms may be burrowing within the sediment and creating holes by jabbing them upward. These hypotheses offer intriguing explanations for the origin of the holes, shedding light on the role of marine life in shaping the underwater environment. Dr. Sowers explained that the suctioning device of the remotely operated vehicle was utilized to gather sediment samples. Dr. Vecchioni expressed his satisfaction in rediscovering the ocean floor holes. However, there was a tinge of disappointment as he acknowledged the continued lack of explanation from the scientific community. This discovery served as a bittersweet reminder of the unresolved mysteries that continue to intrigue researchers and scientists. According to his statement, he expresses the notion that there exists an enigmatic aspect that humanity will eventually unravel in the future. However, up until now, this intricate puzzle remains unsolved and yet to be deciphered. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has announced that the second expedition of the series will conclude with an upcoming live-streamed dive. This remaining dive, which will be broadcasted in real time, promises to provide a captivating experience for viewers. So, what do you make of these mysterious underwater discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching 
and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.